dear brothers and sisters greetings to you in the most precious name of our lord and savior jesus christ the great man of god c h spurgeon once said when asked what is more important praying or reading the bible he asked what is more important breathing in or breathing out to exactly what his words what when asked what is more important praying or reading the bible i ask what is more important breathing in or breathing out unquote i think this statement or this question is very pertinent at this point of time when the whole world is uh, worried when the whole world is going after different solutions trying to find out different solutions for the pandemic when the so called superpowers are also finding it difficult to face the situation i think we require the bible as well as the prayer i will refer to a few verses from the scriptures to tell the importance of both the bible and also prayer and we will try to get some encouragement from these verses Joshua first chapter 8 verse says Joshua first chapter 8 verse says This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success so this is regarding the word of god the word of god or in those days in the old testaments the law should not depart out of the mouth it should always be in our heart we should meditate on that day in and day out night and day and we have to observe those laws and then thy ways will be prosperous will be successful the psalmist says in psalm 119 105 the 105th verse of psalm 119 the psalmist says thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path in these days of darkness when we don't know what is going to happen the next day when we don't know our next step i think this was really helpful to us thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path john's gospel 15th verse sorry john's gospel 15th chapter 7th verse john's gospel 15th chapter 7th verse reads like this If ye abide in me and my words abide in you ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you There are some prerequisites we have to abide in him and his words have to abide in us and then naturally whatever we ask will be according to his will and so he will grant us what we ask and it shall be done unto you that has a prerequisite that we have to abide in him let's read second timothy third chapter 16 to us second timothy third chapter 16 to us all scripture is given by inspiration of god 
and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So all the scripture is inspired by God. And it is profitable for us. It reproves us, it corrects us, it instructs us so that we will be righteous. Not righteous according to the world, but righteous according to the Lord. And we'll go to the prayer points. The verses that tell us that we should pray. That prayer is as important as reading the Bible. Philippians 4th chapter 6th verse says, Philippians 4th chapter 6th verse, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. This is from the KJV version. The other versions use the word anxious. Do not be anxious of anything. That's what that phrase is used in some of the versions. Here it says, be careful for nothing. That means we should not be anxious for anything, but for everything by prayer and by supplication, we should request God. And there's another prayer requested here also, with thanksgiving. Whatever we have is because of His grace. And for that, we should be thankful. With thanksgiving, we have to place our request before Him. And we should not be anxious. Let's read Psalm 145, 18. Psalm 145, 18. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon Him. To all that call upon Him in truth. It's not just calling Him. But we should call him in truth our heart should be truthful our heart should be pure and when we call upon him he is very close to us the Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him he is very close to us and he will answer our prayers James 5.13 says James 5.13 is any among you afflicted let him pray is any merry? Let him sing psalms. So if someone is afflicted, someone is in trouble, someone is finding difficulty, he has to pray. And someone is happy, that person has to sing psalms in praise of God. But what has happened? Why are we facing all these difficulties now? But for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father but is of the world. This is the reason the whole world now is obsessed with the lust of the flesh. The whole world is craving for the pleasures of our flesh. Whatever the eyes see, we are desiring to have that. We are desiring to enjoy that. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. We are forgetting the fact that our eyes are the lamp of the body. Forgetting that, we are lusting, we are desiring whatever we see. And in the pride of our material advancements, advancements of technology, advancements in the medical profession, medical field, medical facilities, we have denied God. Dear brothers and sisters, this pandemic is a wake up call for all of us. All the so called superpowers of the world have come to naught. Just as we breathe in and breathe out in order to survive, we have to read the Bible as well as pray. We cannot just breathe in without breathing out. 
both have to go hand in hand. Same is the case with prayer and the Bible. We have to draw strength from the word of God, from the Bible, and we have to pray unceasingly so that the resurrected power of the Lord will rest on us, will be showered on us. The Holy Spirit will be showered on us. Now, every superpower, every person is boring, has bored for this virus. But if every person, if every knee should bow, it should bow in the presence of the Lord. Philippians 2nd chapter verses 10 and 11 say, Philippians 2nd chapter verses 10 and 11, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every time should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. If every knee bows in the name of Jesus and if every tongue confesses that Jesus is the Lord, then this pandemic will vanish. So dear brothers and sisters, just as we read in the beginning, just as breathing in is as important as breathing out, one cannot be escaped or one cannot be put aside. Similarly, we have to strengthen ourselves with the word of God and also pray. Then God will shower his Holy Spirit upon us and he will fill us with his spirit and all our problems also will be vanished. God will show us the path to go move forward. His word is the lamp to our feet. He will show us the direction. May God bless this word.